We're down at the Yarraville Festival today, down in beautiful Yarraville. They run this every year, it's getting bigger and bigger. In fact, look at the crowds behind us right now. Hope you enjoy this journey as we have a look at today's Yarraville Festival. Keeping it local. So you, you are local boys? Yeah, I'm actually down the road, around the corner. Around the corner? I've been straight up No drink driving home for you guys then? No, 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 I'll be too drunk to walk anyway. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's nice to see that it's gotten bigger as the years have gone on. Yeah, it's still going ahead. It's a really nice atmosphere. I've never been before, but yeah, it's lovely to get the community together like this. It's great. And you must love seeing your own, your own town come to life. Yes, it's lovely and for the weather, it's sunny, it's not raining. Yeah, it's a perfect day for it. Making uh, lino cut stamps, which are then being printed onto cards or little bits of paper over here, so you can see over there. Yeah. So everyone's drawing on a little um, PVC disc and then carving it out with lino tools and then we stick them onto little blocks of wood and print them onto paper. to normality, seeing businesses doing well and everyone coming back and not worried about anything which is fantastic. Good to be out in the sun. And what do you think of it now then? Yeah, it's pretty damn good, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I've been here last year, but uh, they had a different ride. Um, I haven't been here for a long time. Like, it's good to come for these occasions, enjoy your, enjoy the sun, enjoy the nice weather. Yeah, we've been around about 30 years um, doing cleanups and planting and advocating for the health of Stony Creek, which is one of our 
urban waterways. We get a lot of new members come up through the Avril Festival, so we come back every year to um, engage with people. Hand poured resin charms. I make the moulds and I also mix the colours and use lots of glitters, so lots of the earrings are individual. You won't find another pair like them. Yarragul in 1925. Um, it is taken by uh, a gentleman who came back from World War One. He got stranded uh, down in the docks. Uh, he was a Kiwi and he ended up getting so bored and he was stuck here quarantined for such a long time. He assembled a biplane that they dragged back in a shipping container, went up with his aeroplane and uh, started taking photos locally. And next thing you know, he stayed for his entire life here in Melbourne and uh, has catalogued um, pretty much all of Melbourne's history from the air in 1920s. There we go. Seriously, all the families are out, the community's here, everyone's supporting each other. It's so wonderful. Crazy. Um, the amount of people that are taking it up from all different walks of life as well. So anyone from the competitive racer, from a cyclist to a runner, all the way through to your 18 to 24 year olds or someone a bit older as well who's looking to just maintain a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> started in 2018, um, started with the apple cider and just built on that and ended up um, creating the pear cider and the non-alcoholic sparkling. Yeah, it's organic, there's no preservatives, no additives, um, so it's just very different to um, many of the ciders out there. So it's something I get behind and I just have fun with the event environment, getting out and meeting new people every day. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great, man. It's a lovely day and uh, lovely music, lovely food. All you need. Uh, I just love to come down and you know mingle with some new people, try some new foods, and enjoying the time out till summer outside. It's, it's lovely. Yeah. Also have a look at Yarraville, this uh, area. We've never been here before, but I think it's a really cute place and. Uh, have a good uh, festival here. It's really enjoyable, very relaxed. <laughs> yeah, loving it, you know, giving lots of things for the kids to do and entertain themselves, which is fantastic. It's just a great day to get around your friends and great weather and everything. It's a good I was going to say, it's a beautiful display of Yarrable community, and uh, we're, we're so lucky to have this available to us on our doorstep. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Oh, all that teamwork. But it was all teamwork, yeah. Late nights. Yeah. Always the late nights. Late nights. And the video early. conferencing during COVID didn't help. And <laughs> uh, well, the festival's been in long in the making. I think we've been out here for about 38 years. Uh, from very small to very big now. Estuve para poli po irta tenam yas keda sume simera me tinilindiki kinoatita. Thank you very much for coming, all the Greeks, and celebrating together. So next year it'll even bigger. This poor bloke here works so hard. He's the hardest out of all of us. He's worked his, his guts out. So and we really appreciate Anton. A big thanks to Maribyrnong Council and also Westgate Tunnel Project. Chase Printing for all of our printing and everything you see around the festival. And of course, Hopheads with the bar coming through. Uh, the Yarraville Club and also Hocking Stewart. Alpha Bakehouse and Eleni's Kitchen. And not forgetting Uncanny Animals for uh, sponsoring the dog show. And let's not also forget that we've also got the Naked Egg. Anton is the manager and the owner of the Naked Egg. And we've already, they've been looking after all of us volunteers down here today. Woo! That is awesome. It wouldn't be a thanks to everyone involved if I didn't thank the entertainment. So we 
If anyone made it around, we had three stages this year. We had a DJ stage way down Ballarat Street. We had the community stage in the IGA car park, and of course we've got our beautiful picnic stage. And it wouldn't be possible with all of you guys being here. It wouldn't be the same without our suppliers, without our AV team making sure it all sounds great. And of course, it wouldn't be great without the entertainment.